What's going on guys? So, I'm sure you can tell by the title, we're gonna be comparing the 24 by 14s with 35s and the 22 by 12 with 33s. So I made a previous video comparing the 22 by 12s with my stock 18 inch wheels. But since I have these, I think I'll do a comparison because that video did really well. And a lot of think, I think a lot of people will be interested in it. So it's been a while since I made it. I forgot how much the 22 by 12s and 33s weigh. So I'm gonna reweigh everything, and I have no clue how much these beasts weigh, but I know they're both gonna be heavy, but I'm pretty curious to see exactly how they compare. And I've got a tape measure as well, so I'm gonna prop the camera up, and uh, we'll get to measuring. But do remember, these are, my 33s are still extremely good tread, and these are completely shot, and uh, kinda crazy looking tires. So they're 35s, but they are very low tread 35s, and these are good tread 33s but they are a Turo so keep that in mind let's see uh, I guess that's right about 33 in between 32 and 33 inches um, it's probably 33 right at the top of the lugs uh, maybe a little bit shorter just a touch that edge so honestly this is a 1250 mounted on this wheel from the outside to the outside we're looking at like 13 inches. Pull this back over here. A little over 13 inches. Uh, now tread to tread, we're looking at a solid 10 inches, a little bit over that. So let's check out what the height is on this thing. We measure this thing. There's what you're gonna be looking at. It's honestly about a 33 and a half. So definitely the stretch tire gives you a lot less width. So obviously the stretch tire gives you less height than what the tire is designed for because obviously if you look at it, it is stretched. So whereas this sidewall would normally be up and give you that height, it doesn't because it is stretched out to the side. So doesn't give you the height, but it does give you the width. So this thing looks absolutely massive. So let's measure from that lug to this lug. Uh, none of these are gonna be exact numbers, obviously. Yeah, it's about 11 and a half, honestly, if you measure from the outside of that lug. 11 to 11 and a half. And if you do it from the outside, well, let me see. Measure from, let's see, bring that in just a little bit. Honestly, like a 14 and a half. It seems like this rim is actually wider than a 14 wide, just because, I don't know, I'm sure I'm measuring it some, somewhat wrong. But that's the dimensions on there. All right, if I don't spill the uh, thing I've got the camera leaning on, I'll actually get this to work this time. So, First up is the 22 by 12s and the 33 Aturo. So let's go ahead and roll these babies on here. So if I'm holding it right there on the center, no weight of my own on it. What's that, 105 pounds? Right at 105 if I hold it right there. If I lean it back, it's 100. So between 100 and 105 pounds, for the 22 by 12, hopefully y'all could see that. If you can, hopefully, try to tilt it. So it kind of can go up, depending, this is not a scale made for this. So we'll just call it between 100 and 115 pounds, give or take. This is a scale for people, not for wheels. So yeah, I've just got to roll with it because that's all I have. All right, time for the big boys. 24 by 14 fuel cleavers and 35 1250 hiatus. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, can y'all see that? Holy crap. 142 pounds is what it's reading when I'm holding it like this. Let's lean it back. See? All right. So, we're going to say between 130. And I think I messed the camera up. And 145 pounds. 
So these things are not light at all. And that's, you know, big wheel and uh, pretty big tire and everything. So that's the comparison between the two. Let's roll it over here, check them out side by side. Doesn't look like a huge difference on camera, I don't think, but it is huge. It may, I never in the world thought my 22 by 12s would look small, but man, they look tiny, especially on the truck now. I, you know, once again though, be thankful if you have some big tread. He's getting new tires, so I'm making a bunch of videos on these while I have them here at the house. Y'all comment down below. Let him know what size tires you should get, what brand you should get, all the good stuff, but other than that, I think that's about all the comparisons I can do between them. 24 by 12, 14s, excuse me, 24 by 14s definitely weighed a crap ton. And, you know, if you look at the backside, you'll see why these kill ball joints. Because look, look how little rim you have. So it's all hanging out there on the edge. Look at all them wheel weights. My gosh, y'all are going to wreck this in the comments. I can already tell. But this thing was extremely... Uh, the truck he, when he got these these tires were uneven already so that's why they have all the crazy wheel wheels wait wheel weights trying to compensate for that because the truck before him had a bad alignment so yeah don't don't rip him too hard in the comments on that one but let me know what kind of wheels y'all run and uh, let me know what you think about the 24 by 14s on the freaking leveled Silverado I think that's insane I think they look awesome but uh, definitely not not something you can just run normally or really anytime safely. I guess I forgot to do the most basic thing there is to do with wide lip wheels, that is to measure it. So it's about a five and three fourths, not quite six inch lip. All right, the 14 wides, very gently, not scratching it. Almost seven. If we measure from there, if we measure from Back there, we're looking at right at an eight inch lip. So 14 wides, eight inch lip, seven, and then almost a six on 12 wides. Figured I'd throw that in there. Yeah.